You're watching Fugitive Red Eye, and welcome to another manga review. Today we're reviewing the first volume of Higurashi When They Cry. This first volume is pretty much identical to the anime as far as the plot goes. Uh, I am comparing this to the anime because I have never read the visual novel, and I saw the anime before I read the manga. It still has all the cutesy shit which I didn't like, but I expected it to because it's Higurashi. The suspense is also definitely there, but uh, it is a little slow-paced, but again, so is the anime. It still has the creepy moments, and I can't wait to read the second volume. But there is a couple of things that are definitely different. Some things happen in a few different orders. Chronologically, there's a couple of very small, minor things that happen slightly out of sequence and compared to the anime, which technically, since this came before the anime, would make the anime the out-of-sequence one, but you get the point. This one is also a lot more over-sexualized than the anime. The anime has almost no sexual references to my recollection. It has been a while since I've seen it, I will admit. But as far as I recall, they never had any real moments where they tried to make the, the characters sexualized or have Keiichi be interested in them sexually. But they do have a little bit of that in this manga. It's still really good, and uh, it is from the first arc, which I can't get across enough is my favorite arc of Higurashi. So it, that's, that's a, definitely a plus. If you know Higurashi and you know what to expect, I obviously do recommend this. I will be reading and reviewing Volume 2 fairly soon as well, and then Volume 5 because I don't have any other volumes. But uh, yeah, this is Higurashi, just as you remember it if you've seen the anime, or I assume is very similar to the visual novel as well, but I've never played it. But yeah, that's really all I have to say. If you've seen Higurashi, you know the plot, you know, the, the small village, the, the cult sort of behavior they have, mysterious murders that surround the Cotton Festival every year, and of course the paranoia and uh, fear that Keiji feels as he feels that his friends are trying to kill him. And of course it still has those creepy moments, especially creepy Reina, which is honestly my favorite parts of the first arc because those parts genuinely scared me in the anime. Another thing worth mentioning is there's these weird bonus chapters that are clearly non-canon and are a lot more comedic. They're a lot more in line with the cutesy shit, and honestly remind me a lot of the, uh, the When They Cry Kira OVAs, which were my least favorite of the OVA sets. So, if you, if you liked those OVAs, you'll probably like the bonus mangas. I wasn't the biggest fan, but they were okay. But anyway, if you're a Higurashi fan, I definitely recommend you read the manga. Subscribe, the Fiji to Red Eye.